I am not a lady of the evening. I know. You are Jesus H. Christ herself. Among all of the most miraculous creations, we are the only one to which we truly have access. It is our divine duty to strive to know ourselves first, to make sense of our experience. We need to be careful not to exceed our grasp as well. Have you ever tried to teach Chinese algebra to your cat? I have, in fact. I was sure to show her that all the variables are in Chinese characters, and that there are no Arabic numerals, and that the equations are read down to up, and they go right to left, and that everything can be changed in an instant with a smile and a nod, just to keep outsiders confused. Did your cat understand it? I do not think so. I'm not sure. How do you know your cat might not have long since understood it and was really trying to teach it to you? And how can this uncertainty go away when we are thinking of God and not a cat? I guess that God can just make himself, excuse me, herself, known in a way that a cat cannot. But I suppose that your point is that in either case, I would have to figure it out with a human mind and words. It is one thing to wonder about God or to aspire to a godly life. It is another to speak with certainty about the will of God and to believe that other people should understand it in the same way. Both speaking and listening are very human. In every word ever written, no matter what the subject, there is a great deal of human art. I'm writing all of this in a book that is already out to the public and that will change as it continues to be read. So, I just have to ask, for whom are these words of yours meant? The words are what you hear, and then you report them. The words cannot approach the sublime nature of what you call God and will undoubtedly be subject to numerous interpretations. The instant you heard me, this all became yours, and when it is read, it will be another step further away. I guess you mean to say that when the time comes that you are truly ready to be heard, you will be understood by everyone without the possibility of misinterpretation. That makes the most sense, doesn't it? <laughs>